Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. For this episode, we have this very important uh, uh, project, and I can uh, assure you that most of our projects are very important, but this is uh, unusual. Um, it's to do with um, uh, creating a flag of peace. I've been asked by a group in, uh, in Holland uh, to design uh, a flag of peace in behalf of my country, which is Libya. So it took me about three months to design one. Now, um, uh, this uh, flag of peace, um, when you look at the other designs which has been made, I think could be over a hundred designs. Now, uh, all these flags are flying in, used to be flying in, uh, in front of the um, uh, international court or something in La Hague or something like that. But anyway, uh, it moves from place to place. Sometimes it goes to uh, different parts of uh, Holland. Sometimes it goes to even outside Holland. There was uh, uh, some idea was uh, taking it to China and other places. Now, the, the piece which is I, I, um, I um, designed was based on that because I wanted to um, uh, use this um, occasion to, uh, to emphasize that while we are talking about uh, peace, peace wouldn't come without justice. Justice is the essence of peace, and nothing can uh, uh, take uh, 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 the place for justice to accomplish peace. Uh, now the the uh, the flag which we uh, designed that has been now flying flying in 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 Holland is is this. It's a large piece. It's two meters and a half. We might be able to show you the the uh, the uh, the full piece. Now this this looks when it is flying in in Holland. Now let me read. Let me read to you. Uh, uh, what I written about the uh, this uh, this uh, flag of peace says, in essence, we all want peace, but peace demands justice. And no matter what you do, no peace can be achieved without meaningful justice. And no matter what you engage of mathematical or logical probabilities to create, maintain, or belong peace. It always comes back to justice. Therefore, on the behalf of my country, myself, and the rest of humanity, I put this cry, implement justice in the world and gain peace on earth. So that's what is being written. But this course, um, uh, uh, the idea of justice, equal peace, I have done that more than one time. It started 1991 when I painted a piece of artwork which says implement justice in the world and you have peace on earth. That was, and we can always show the artwork. And of course, even here, um, uh, 2010, uh, I've done this and ex we have accepted this again uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the, one of these galleries. This is the, the, uh, the piece which is I designed in 2010. You can read it in Arabic and English also. So, so that is the, um, uh, this project uh, looked like. Now the, um, the idea is that um, having having um, uh, awareness while most of the politicians around the world or most of the thinkers around the world or most of the reasonable people around the world they know this but how to implement it or if they really want to implement it that's something else uh, a lot of people shall we say um, will find excuses to not to implement justice uh, uh, and all the time pretending that they are looking for peace and working for peace. 
why they don't implement justice or they don't implement what it leads to justice. People need to be fair. Everybody wants, shall we say, uh, uh, to have the rights to, to fight for this if they want. I mean, again, the word fight means war in this case, uh, but sometimes uh, some people who are being unjustly dealt with for all the time, some, some of them, they will see that there is no other alternative but to fight. And of course, we are not going to uh, go to say uh, uh, or to uh, dwell too much on uh, what is uh, right in this case or not, uh, because everybody has their own philosophy and their ideas. Some of them are um, uh, aggressive by nature, but some of them are uh, cornered and they need to, uh, to defend themselves and the rest of it. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this... Um, uh, really um, uh, <laughs> saying it's, it's one of those um, combination of clever using language in a way that uh, what says now the only thing that remains unresolved is the resolution of the problem this usually comes after a lot of these um, uh, parliaments around the world, they come for uh, days and nights and weeks and weeks talking about um, problems and resolutions and ideas and the rest of it. But after all this, after they fight and they talk and they laugh and they propose things like this, after that could be a month of, of, of a discussion, they arrived to time when they haven't resolved the problem. So this is what uh, this small um, line is talking about. So it says that uh, now the only thing that remains, because some of them are, have got a checklist, they have, got, they have to speak about this, they have to, to, put, uh, to, uh, to think about that, they have to mention this point, they have to mention that point, and all the checklist has been exhausted. But the only thing is, that the resolution or the problem itself, which is they came about to talk about, hasn't been resolved. So, it says now the only thing that remains unresolved is the resolution of the problem. So, that tells, tells you uh, an, 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 an assemble of how the politicians, especially in the West, work. Again, we come back to. Um, these nice um, uh, stories uh, about Juha and other um, uh, characters in Arabic and Islamic um, history. Uh, for Juha, there was also the, uh, the Turkic uh, Juha, who is called um, Haji Nasr Din. Uh, and, um, uh, but this is the, the old Juha, this is the old Arab Juha, which is about 1200 years ago. Um, the other one is about 800 years ago, something like 600 uh, or 400 uh, later, uh, years later. Now, with um, some of the characteristics of the of the of the of this period, well, you have a lot of people uh, have got their um, uh, characteristics. They are they, uh, they are socially active. They have got ideas, and some of them are. Um, there was this famous guy who was um, very famous, he's called uh, Tufayli. This, this guy was um, uh, a person who is very famous of um, loving parties. So wherever there was a party, he would find him. And even the people who are doing the parties, even if they don't ask him to come, he will come anyway. And he will find ways to get in. And to be... So anyway, one of these days... This guy was um, uh, going out of his house uh, wh while a few children were pl uh, playing in the streets. So they notice him going out of his house and they know that this guy, whenever he goes out, it means that he's going to a party. And the children wanted to, uh, to get something, some of that party, that fun and the rest of it. Of course, as you know, most of these parties are, are uh, some of them are marriages and something like this, a lot of fun, a lot of music, a lot of food, a lot of this and that. So anyway, they surrounded this, this guy and they say to him, 
you must take us to the party you go away. He said, no, no, I am not going to any party. I'm going to do this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what he was saying. They insisted that he must t take them to the party where he is going now. So anyway, of course, he wasn't going to a party, but this is what uh, the, the children were uh, assuming. Now, after he's been surrounded for a long time, wasn't able to break from the children. So he thought of an idea. He thought of inventing a lie. And what he did, he looked at the different corners of the areas where um, the city where he was living in the town or the city, whatever it is, and he's seen uh, a long far and far away, um, some smoke comes from, from a building, very far away building, so some smoke comes from a building. So he asked the children, he said to them, hey, cannot you see that, 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 um, that um, uh, smoke going out from that building? They say, yes, we can see it. It looks me from that very far, but uh, we can see it. So he said, uh, this is where I'm going. There is, must be a party there. So the children, they believed him. And they went just like, a, uh, what do you call it? A rocket to running very fast laughing and running very fast to that, to that smoke. So when the children done that, and he had been left by himself, he, says, he started to reconsider. He said, do you think that I just told them where there was a party, and the children are going to go to that party and do it themselves, and I'm not going to be able to go there? Of course, he knew that he invented that lie, but he started to believe his lie. And he went behind those children just like, what, what can you say? I mean, you know, one of those uh, uh, missiles running very fast. So anyway, after, say, half an hour or, or an hour and a half or something like this, he arrived at that building exhausted from running and he found himself surrounded in that building by a gang of thieves who were cooking their meal and um, uh, uh, dividing their catch. They took him, gave him a good beating and he left him nearly, you know, between dying and living between life and death, and they went away. So what we can get, what kind of a benefit or what wisdom we can get out of this? And it, of course, this is one of those things which is, of course, uh, uh, happening all the time. People invent lies, and the worst part of it, apart from inventing lies, the other part, uh, worst part of it is some of them, they believe their lies and they act on that. And of course, in history, we have a lot of those. Um, a lot of the uh, people, either in government or in social life or in business or whatever it is, they invent lies and they believe that lies and, uh, and act on them. And most of the time, they harm themselves and harm others. Of course, I mean, they don't mean to harm themselves when they do that, but um, usually the consequences of any lie in the long run is going to harm even the people who invented it. And of course, we have a lot of evidence of this. Now, this is, could be one of those, um, uh, uh, if you like, um, benefit of all of us knowing that kind of... Uh, 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 Characteristics which has been done by people like this guy, uh, which is we are speaking about. This person also lived in the MOE time. Uh, we're talking about something like, well, 1250 years ago or, or give and take uh, a few years from here and there. And thank you.